going good, don't start. Niggas try to me, Kevin Hart. Y'all whole stay open, seven days a week like Walmart. Then you have a storyline with Teddy Long, which I believe. Yes. What was it like for you doing that storyline? And how did it all come about? You know, that storyline was heavily influenced by my own ideas. It was something that I kind of presented uh, to the writers and we kind of just worked on that. We brainstormed on that. Um, and it was the direction that I wanted to take my character at the time to something a little bit more diabolical, and a little bit more substantial. It was fantastic. I think that was a tipping point in my career. Unfortunately, you know, things did not, the storyline did not play out. And that's kind of one of my biggest regrets oh, that no. it didn't. You know, sometimes when there's too many cooks in the kitchen, the recipe gets messed up. Right. And communication gets broken down. And that was a situation where there's a lot of miscommunication. And unfortunately, I think more oftentimes than not, women tend to take the fall in those situations, especially someone as green as I was. Not to say that I did not have my responsibility in that. Um, it was a lot on my plate, a lot too soon. I didn't know how to handle it as well as I could have at the time. Yeah. Um, and you know hindsight's 2020 20. if if i could go back you know 15 years how would things be different it would be totally different but um i also think that fans don't understand that for a lot of us we're really we were really young i was 21 years old i've never been in a position like that before still trying to learn the ins and outs of the business and just finding my way you know so there's a lot of growth and development that was happening while i was also playing this character traveling on the road you know 365 a year oh. um trying to balance personal life that's a lot yeah. for somebody that young and um i wish things could have been different for sure because i think that there was still so much that i could offer the business yeah there was nothing that i wanted to change necessarily about the direction of the storyline like i said i think that there was miscommunications between myself and different writers and things were said that i said that i didn't say and i was pegged as being difficult um oh, gotcha. so it was more of a situation like that and i think that mature crystal older crystal if i were in that situation now instead of going back and playing telephone, I would have gone directly to the source and say, hey, look, this is what's going on. This is what I wanna see. Instead of tell a wrestler, telephone, you know, that's, this is not the way to go about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I wish that were different, absolutely. But you know, everything, there's a reason for the season and yeah. uh, it worked out the way that it did. So also in 2007, you had a chance to be a heel. You had a heel run and I think it was against another Diva Search winner, Layla L. What was it like working as a villain in WWE? My absolute favorite. You know, I just it I don't know why it just comes so natural for me. Um <laughs> yeah. It's just fun. Bad girls have all the fun. Yeah. You know, so um, yeah, I don't think I'm a baby face. I don't think I ever have been a baby face, not even in my personal life, you know? So <laughs> I think I have good intentions, but I think it takes, you have to get to know me because I'm not, I'm not really a warm, fuzzy person, but I am a very kind person, so.